five-yard line. Alston looking for that first touchdown, and he's got it. Impressive opening drive for the Tigers and new coach Hugh Freeze. You couldn't draw it up any better if you're Auburn. Eight runs on this drive. Pumachan straight forward with it. No signal yet. And it will appear. There it is. Touchdown. UMass with the counter punch. And they too score on their opening drive. Long of 51. So well within his range. And he's got it. I think we're deep there, and I think both Vati and and uh, Demaria played well. Now, thank you. Robbie Ashford with the touchdown from 10 yards out for Auburn. Three possessions, three scores, and for the second time, Kirk, a good return sets him up with a short field. Yeah, but what did Coach just say there? Oh, Vati's been great. Ashford now throws in, and now he's another running back. So we already talked about the lineage of running backs today with no Hunter throwing Robbie Ashford as another running back because that's what happens when you get inside that red zone. Ashford to the end zone. Thorne throws to the outside. Hooks has it. And Ashford right now is just making the right choice. Ashford keeps again and scores again. You're back on track. Pumachan caught from behind. Strip ball is loose. Auburn trying to jump on it. Now scoop it inside the 40-yard line and down to the 35 and a takeaway for the Tigers. And it's Jalen Simpson. Group, but they're still without Nehemiah Pritchett. Thorne going for it. Throw it over the top. Inside the five and it's hauled down to Marius Johnson. Robbie keeps, Robbie runs right, diving for the pylon, and he's in. Third touchdown of the day for Robbie Ashford. And for the Tiger offense, five possessions, five scores. Pumachan, nice handoff right up the middle, lots of room for Lynch Adams across midfield and hauled down at the 41-yard line by Zion Puckett. Uphill. And the safeties and corners have done a terrific job in the first half. Let's see if they can create some pressure with the front four now. Yeah, they gave up close to 30 points per game last year. That was 98th in the country. Pumachan takes a hit, and the pass is intercepted, and a pick six for Jalen Simpson. Touchdown, Tigers. We're 49 to... yards on the return. Yeah, we're going to talk a lot about Robbie Ashford on the offensive side. But on the defensive side, it's been the corners and safeties. And that time, Keontae Scott comes off the edge with the pressure, forcing Pumachan to have to throw the ball as quickly. As Five scores on six drives. Last eight years, the head coach at Tulsa, and now here. Thorne over the top to the end zone. Touchdown. Jay Fair with a quick strike. Their first offensive play in the second half. And they join the defensive unit with getting a touchdown here in the third quarter and a 30-yard hookup. Watch the receivers in the slot, 13 and 5. They get up the field and they cross scissors concept. And you get a middle linebacker on a wide receiver in the middle. It's still close to 80% of their plays have been run on the other side of midfield. And speaking of running, all the way to the house, Jeremiah Cobb. The freshman in his debut. Just the left side of the Auburn offensive line. You can call them road graders, right? We're on the plains, right? So you got some road graders. And that's what they... Big play here for UMass. Anthony Simpson going to go the distance. Touchdown, Minutemen. <laughs> 58 yards. And they reached the end zone for the second time. Yeah, <laughs> this was an offense last year, Beth, that averaged 60 plays, 40 of one of which have been run in UMass territory. And breaking tackles and busted into the open is Sean Jackson. Touchdown, Tigers. Forty 
25 yards for the sophomore out of Trustville, Alabama. But he's not supposed to be able to do that. Remember, Sean Jackson, he's 5'9", 236. He's supposed to be the downhill. And then 10, 42, and 45 yards. There's six scores on the ground. Gets away from Scott. He'll run it down. Reverse course. Bring it back out across the 30-yard line. The cutback and down. At the game. Mm -hmm. As we see Garner go to the air here. Nice catch. Down to the 20 by Malcolm Johnson. Touchdowns of one, two, four yards. And then 10, 42, and 45 yards. There's six scores on the ground. Gets away from Scott. He'll run it down. Reverse course. Bring it back out across the 30-yard line. The cutback and down at the 44. It is not like the tradition that we've seen for so many years. But I think it's going to be different. Obviously, realignment has taken over the offseason. Oh, my goodness. It's what everybody watches. And this is the reason why Hugh Freeze is brought in to get this program back to its dominant. Yeah. The Utah-Florida game. Mm -hmm. As we see Garner go to the air here. Nice catch. Down to the 20 by Malcolm Johnson. The, the landscape for all the sports, right? It's, it's what we're seeing all across sports. And I think the fan enjoys a much sped up game. <laughs> a lot of Auburn alums will be uh, <laughs> hanging out at Napa Valley, enjoying some wine. Yes. And they'll see the Auburn Tigers take on the Cal Bears next week. Hugh Freeze begins his Auburn campaign with a win. And they beat UMass 59 to 14, your final score. It's also the debut of quarterback Peyton Thorne. He was 10 for 17, 141 yards and a touchdown pass. 495 yards of total offense for the Tigers, and they rush for nearly 300. For Kirk Morrison, Stormy Bonatoni, our entire crew, I'm Beth Mowens. Thanks for watching and so long from Auburn as we head back to the studio with Matt, Joey, and Dan. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.